The bank of the future is not a case of if, but when. It will be delivered by an organization unencumbered by the need to sell banking products, simplifying those products into a streamlined, intuitive user experience that has not historically been possible until now. The bank of the future can be understood through the three phases of banking innovation. Adapt, evolve, and transform. Banks and fintechs are already delivering the adapt phase, but it's now time to evolve and ultimately transform. In this vision, the bank of the future's focus will be on delivering outcomes for the customer rather than selling bank products. Every customer has three primary needs, to pay for something, to borrow money to fund a purchase, or to grow their money, for example, by investing. We propose a new paradigm for banking, where the bank transcends offering banking products entirely, instead invisibly supporting the customer through deep personalization, real-time advice, and a focus on profitable customer satisfaction. But how do we solve those three customer needs? Let's start with pay. Let's imagine Jessica needs to pay her friend Anna, who lives in the USA. The bank of the future asks Jessica, do you need to send the money quickly or cheaply? Depending on the amount of money, the bank of the future can choose the best way for Jessica. Let's look at that second customer need, to borrow. Jessica needs to borrow £400 she doesn't have right now to replace her washing machine. The bank of the future displays the multiple credit-based options she has at her disposal and makes a recommendation, the bank of the future credit line. The credit line will consolidate Jessica's multiple liabilities into one line of credit and automatically give her the best rate in her borrowing. Let's look at that final customer need now, to grow your money. In other words, to protect your money and, if possible, gain a return on it by investing. The Bank of the Future offers the customer a whole-of-market view of the savings, investment, pension, and insurance options available to them using the customer's real data to help them achieve their goals. But we can go further. At the transform phase of banking innovation, every customer will have their own personalized bank. In this vision, the bank of the future absorbs the customer's data, both historical and real-time, via APIs from open banking and social media, and from online spending, location data, and so on. The bank abstracts the complexity behind the scenes, managing a customer's wealth seamlessly while allowing them to dive into the detail should they want to. Jessica has a real-time personalized bank, one she can authorize to take the best course of action. The bank provides a real-time division of Jessica's money into different pots, based on what it knows and anticipates about Jessica. Planned payments derived from real-time, historical and projected data are pre-allocated and kept protected, as are Jessica's savings and investments and her cash flow. Let's imagine Jessica's financial situation changes, for example, she needs a new washing machine. At the transform phase, Jessica simply goes ahead and makes the purchase. The bank plots in real time the best possible course of action for Jessica by shifting her financial allocations from grow, where her savings live, to pay, which contains her allocated spending money, or invoking borrow, where a line of credit is created if needed. The bank of the future understands Jessica's financial ambitions and automatically makes the best decision for her now and for her future, becoming a trusted and transparent financial companion. The possibilities brought about by modern, highly configurable and open architecture make this eminently achievable. Not just in the bank of the future, but for your bank today. Alswen and Pacemakers have worked with partner Vadino, which provides a turnkey full-stack banking platform to make the bank of the future possible. Register your interest in the bank of the future.